Sydney's criminal underworld has now abandoned any remote sense of honour it had left with a cold-blooded execution on a suburban street in broad daylight. And they're clearly ramping up their never-ending war. Aaron Bell is at the scene of this latest bloodshed. Aaron, what do we know about the victims or his killers? Well, Sandra, clearly these killers were cold-blooded and didn't care where they attacked or who saw them, considering this street was filled with children on school holidays. As for the victim, well, we're being told his name was Ali Janis in his early 40s and there are reports he was linked to the Hells Angels. But one thing's for sure, Sandra, he left behind a very distraught family. The horrible moment when a wife learns her husband is dead. <laughs> The latest victim of Sydney's suburban crime war. While police can't confirm his identity, the woman's sister has told us the victim's name is Ali. Other family and friends soon arrived in a state of shock, but were kept out of the street, which is now a murder scene. Get the f came out of here! Get the f came out of here! A man had, was found on the front lawn shot. We're not sure how many times he had been shot. He has died at the scene. There were five shootings right after another and then the cars just straight away drove off really, really fast and that's it. Yeah, and we didn't hear anything else. Police believe that the shooters may have been hiding close by since five this morning, ambushing the victim just after ten. No one immediately heard cars come rushing into the street, so we're thinking that maybe the car or cars were there. This hoodie also a clue, after witnesses spotted a man wearing a similar jacket just before the attack. Police aren't ruling out links to the shooting murder of a bikey standover man at East Lakes on Monday night. If people have got arguments, there are other ways to go about solving their arguments. The use of firearms like this is not going to solve anything at all. And everyone now fears there will be more retaliation in what's become a cycle of tit-for-tat brutality. Now, this street has calmed down considerably since this morning, but police are still here gathering up their evidence. And as so often with cases like these, getting frightened people to speak will be their challenge. It will indeed. Erin Bell, thank you.